So in this video, we're going to explain how to fix broken rollup patterns. So we'll go ahead and create this structure now and apply a rollup pattern and we will show some of the common things that go wrong with rollup patterns and how to fix them. So to apply our rollup pattern, we can right click the top level block, which is our system block, go down to tools and go to apply rollup pattern and you can select your rollup pattern. These come out of the box with Cameo. Uh, you can also create a custom rollup pattern, but we have another video to explain that. Uh, we'll leave apply recursively set to true and set subsetted properties set to true and click yes or click okay. And now we've applied the rollup pattern. We see the subset sub maths on all of the uh, parent or all the children blocks. And so now when we run this in simulation, you will see the part properties for all the children as well as the mass and total mass values and it does work as intended where you can add a value to subsystem C and it will roll up accordingly and you can add a mass value to subsystem A component 2 and it will also roll up to the subsystem A level and then to the system level. So it works as intended right now. One of the things that frequently goes wrong is somebody would try to add a another subsystem. We'll call this subsystem D and they'll create a connection here and then they'll realize that um, when they run simulation it doesn't actually work. Like there's no um, roll up for subsystem D. Subsystem D does not have mass and total mass values and that's because the uh, roll up pattern does not it has not been applied to subsystem D. So the quick fix here is to go into your system block and go to tools, remove the roll up pattern and then just reapply it. Tools, apply roll up pattern, mass roll up pattern and now you see the subset sub mass on subsystem D. So uh, we will rerun this and we will see that subsystem D does have that mass and total mass value now and it does successfully roll up to the top level. So now I'll show how to manually add the roll pattern. So I will show some more details. Um, we'll create a new subsystem, subsystem E and we'll create the relationship, directed composition relationship. So to get subsystem E to roll up like the other subsystems, we need to do two things. One is going to be add the subset sub mass um, to this uh, directed composition relationship. And the next is going to be to inherit all of the attributes and properties from the mass roll up pattern. So to do that, we can start with going into the specification of this directed composition relationship and go to subsets and we can select role of subsystem E, which is this side of the relationship. And we're going to search for our subset sub mass. So we'll do sub mass right here. And this is a part property from our mass roll up pattern. Click OK. And now we are subsetting the sub mass. So that's uh, part one. Part two is going to be inheriting from the mass roll up pattern. And to do that, we can just use a generalization relationship just like that. So now when I go into my specification of my subsystem B, you will see that we're inheriting all those values. And now when I run my system in simulation, you'll see I have my mass and my total mass for my subsystem E. I can put in a value and it rolls up as intended. So it works. Another fairly common problem is if we already have value properties of mass created. So we'll do that, subsystem F. And let's say somebody has already created a value property for mass and given it a value, so 50. And then they connect it all up. And let's say they, they correctly, or let's look at the value property within here now. So we've got an attribute of mass of type real. And 
I'll create that generalization relationship. And now we realize that we have two mass values and they are not the same. They're not one and the same. Um, if I go into here and add my subset, Now, when I run this, what's happening is the one that rolls up appropriately is going to be this mass with the little m. But the mass with the big M is it, it has nothing to do with the roll-up pattern. So the intention is that this mass with the big M is going to be the same thing as the mass with the little m. So we'll show how to fix that now. So we're going to go into the specification of the mass value that is the capital M, and we're going to type in redefined for redefined property, and we're going to go search for the little mass from the mass rollup pattern, which is going to be this one. See, mass type real one equals zero. So it's the same one. I click OK. So it redefines mass, the little mass. So now when I run simulation, I go down here, see, notice it automatically goes to 50. And you have the value property that's grayed out of this mass value, which has been redefined by the capital mass value. And I just did the capital um, to make it clear which is which, but I could have it as a little m as well. So it can have exactly the same name. Um, but do know that if you didn't have this redefined mass here, you can, um, and I'll remove that now. So I'm removing the redefined mass. And so now we're at a broken state. And what this means is if I go to my attributes, I have a value property called mass that with little m, so it has exactly the same name. One of them is inherited from here, and one of them is has been created on the subsystem F block. Just because they have exactly the same name doesn't mean they're one and the same. So that can be kind of confusing. And so when I run this, it still does, it, does not work. And we have two mass values, and it can be confusing as to why we have multiple of the exact same variable. And that's because we've got one from here and one from here. So now I'll go into more detail about the subset submass and what that means. So we will go into the containment tree and find the mass rollup pattern to help explain this. So this is what the rollup pattern looks like. And then the parametric is right here. And so what we've got is the mass has mass rollup pattern has a child called submass. And the submass is going to have a value property called total mass, which is connected to the sum constraint. So what's happening with this subset submass is that it's, it's connecting the value property of total mass to the total mass of the submass. So it's basically allowing this connection right here. If we don't have that subset submass, then this parametric diagram cannot be uh, successfully completed. It's basically a broken link here, or it's just not a link at all. And um, then you will only see the value properties that you've inherited from mass rollup pattern. Finally, you can see if you remove the rollup pattern, the mass rollup pattern, then this generalization relationship will be removed automatically, as well as the subsets. Note, for more documentation about the rollup patterns that are available, you can go to Help, and then down to Other Documentation and SysML Plugin User Guide. And you can go to uh, 229, and that will have information about the rollup pattern wizard, and you can read about that. We hope this video was helpful to you, and as always, Leave your comments and questions below. Thanks.